This is a PowerPoint lesson on how to insert tables inside of a, any slide. First of all, if you have a table that already exists in Word, all you need to do is copy and paste it. So here I have a little table and I would simply copy. So I write, I'd select it here with my little four arrows. That's how you select the table in, in Word. And you hit copy and then come into PowerPoint and you'd simply hit paste. And there's my table. For some reason it came with formatting, which is not a big deal and you can size your table this way. That doesn't look very good. But yeah, you can size, you can change your fonts, etc. And if you don't like the layout, you would just come to design and ask for the whole menu here and ask for maybe nothing. And there you got pretty much the same table that you had in Word. So you can copy and paste the table, very simple. If you wanna create your own from a blank slide, you would go to insert and table if you knew you wanted a table on a slide, you would ask for a layout that has something like this, and you would ask for table. And here you can ask for seven columns and seven rows. And there you have your table. Once again, it's choosing this format by default. If you don't like that format, you can change it to anything you'd like, including no format or just simple grid lines like this. If you don't want this placeholder, if you didn't want the title, you can delete the title. And now you can grow your table, make it as big as you'd like it to be. Now, four arrows allows you to move your table. Two arrows allows you to size it. So if I am patient and I'm able to click exactly where I want. So now I have that table there. With your table comes two toolbars. Very, very similar to Word. Okay. So if you've worked with tables in Word, you're going to find this very easy and very familiar because they've pretty much included all the options you had in Word. I'll go over some of them. Uh, you're able to select a group of cells and merge them into one cell if you'd like. To get from one cell to the next, you simply use your tab key and that will bring you from the next. Okay, so I'm simply hitting tab. You can select an entire row or column quite easily. You can delete an entire row or column very easily. If you're in a, call, in a row and you want another row, go to the last cell, hit tab, you'll get another one. I'm just gonna hit undo here. From anywhere, you can add rows above, below, add columns to the right or columns to the left. So it's very user-friendly, many options. Uh, you can change the sizes of many, many things, including your rows. So I'm just clicking and dragging here to change the size and you can do the same thing with columns all right so i'm just manually changing the sides of things okay if you find yourself in a position where you want to fix this mess and you want all of your rows to be the same height again you have the ability to do that by saying distribute the rows evenly so now all of my rows are the same and if you want all your columns to be the same size again you can ask for that as well very simple easy to use uh, the alignment inside of a cell, here I've got top left. If I wanted it to be the middle, it would be top middle, and then it would be top right. If I wanted it to be in the middle, I would ask for it to be in the middle. And then I can be middle left, middle center, middle right. And if I wanted the bottom I would choose this, and now I'm bottom right, bottom center, bottom left. Similar, but not exactly the same thing as what we had in Word. If I wanted this to be back to seven cells, it's the opposite. I had merged it to put it together. If I want to split them, I would decide how I want it split. So here I'd probably go back to seven and then that would be okay. So split and merge are the opposite from one another. I don't want to go through every single option. I believe I've covered the, the real important ones. Um, if, I, if I chose to, I guess I could merge these here, make them all one cell. And if I wanted a title across the side, 
I could change the text direction this way. And it's giving me a little preview. Okay, and then what I'd probably want to do is I'd probably want to make that much, much bigger. And then I'd probably want to go back to my tables and I'd probably want to center, center that like that. So again, you've got your all your different formatting features here. You can make your table look real professional in a hurry without really putting a lot of thought into it. Uh, if you wanted to, you could shade each cell individually. You can change the border of each cell individually. Again, for the sake of keeping this video brief, I'm not going to go into detail. If you want to see what all of these different things do, uh, you can check them out for yourself. But basically, you can select any cell and change the border on any side very easily. So those are your basic tools for inserting and working with tables inside of PowerPoint.